and meow welcome back to my channel if you are new here i'm miki and thank you so much all of you guys for joining me i am actually starting a new pan project today this is the fourth pan project that i've decided to undertake this year i don't know if that's a smart decision or not we're gonna see maybe next year i'll kind of limit myself a little bit more but hopefully we'll be able to get a lot of progress in all the projects going on. If you would like, I would love it if you hit subscribe so you can get updated on all my pan projects if you love panning videos. I do real quickly want to address why I haven't been on YouTube for a little while. It is because my dad has been having surgery. He's okay. Everything's going really well. But I wanted to let you guys know I have been a little bit busy and I may be a little bit busy in the future just because he's still going through recovery and I'd like to visit him and see him and make sure you know everything's going as planned so just keep that in mind and bear with me I will be doing all of my updates on the day or the day after when I'm supposed to have them up so don't worry about that I will be doing all my pan project updates but I may not be able to do any of those like extra videos so just bear with me <laughs> So as you guys already know from the title down below, this is the Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Project Pan. If you grew up in the same kind of time period that I did, I am 30 and I was born in 1988, full disclosure, you probably know who Sailor Moon is and I was a huge fan of Sailor Moon. I've actually done like a Sailor Moon um, related makeup video which I will link up above it's just like a palette and I had like a shirt and a headband that I all got off of which if you're curious oh yeah and makeup brushes if you're curious I'll link it but now we are starting a new pan project and this is a collaboration with the Pantastic Ladies this project was started by Susie Teo I think that's how you say her name and I will be linking all her information down below okay so for this pan project we were to pick 10 different products and each product correlates with the color of the Sailor Scout. So for Sailor Moon, we were supposed to pick something white or silver. I decided to pick out this Sephora Universal Face Transparent Powder. Basically, it's a setting powder. I did kind of shake this up and show you guys right here how much I've got left, which isn't too much. Um, so I feel like I will be fairly successful with this. I know that it goes on transparent, but in its package, it is white, so I'm counting it. For Sailor Mercury, we had to pick something blue, and I picked the Laneige, Laneige, Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. This is just basically like a moisturizing mask, but it's more like just, I think, a moisturizer. If you see that dark blue line right there, that's where I am currently at. So this thing is completely full. I've only used it once ever before. For red, I picked out this Victoria's Secret fragrance. It's always easy to go through fragrances, fragrances in Project Pans. This is the uh, smell very sexy and it is quite nice. I have been enjoying it and this line right here is where I'm currently at. Actually, it's a little bit lower than that line now technically, but that's where I was at yesterday when I marked these. For Sailor Jupiter, we were supposed to pick out something green. I picked out this Aero Boost. This is a like lip treatment lip balm slash lip tint. It does change a slight shade of pink depending on like maybe the pH of your lips, I guess. I quite like it and I've got about that much. I really need to mark it off and I will be doing that today. I just this morning decided to put that in this project because I had an eyeshadow but I have so many eyeshadows and so many of my project pans that it's just not reasonable to include another eyeshadow especially something green because greens isn't like an everyday color so I probably wouldn't find it very easy to use. For Sailor Venus we we're supposed to pick out something gold so I decided on going in my Naked 2 palette and picking out Half Baked right there and I do already have a little bit of a dip. I will show you guys up close. Um, it's probably hard to see, but hopefully I'll be able to make some progress. There's, you know, again, like I said, other eyeshadows I'm using in other projects. So hitting pan on this is my goal. For Sailor Chibi, Sailor, Sailor Chibi Moon, Rainy, 
So we picked something pink and I am using the Caudalie Vino Source. This is a moisturizing sorbet, AKA moisturizer. Um, right here is how much I have. I don't know. I think maybe within a month this will be gone, but maybe two months, we'll just have to see. For Sailor Pluto, we could pick something black or dark green and maybe this is cheating. It has black on it. So is that cheating? I don't know if it is or not. Um, but this line right here is about where I am. So, and this is just an all over face primer, just so you know, this isn't my favorite face primer. It's a little bit thicker than what I would normally enjoy as a very silicone feel, but like thicker. So it's not my favorite, but it's okay. For Sailor Uranus, I picked out the Mac Pro Eye Makeup Remover. Um, we could pick something dark blue or violet. And I think this is pretty violet. That blue line is where I'm at right now. Yeah, I don't know if this will be gone by the end of the project. I don't use a ton of this. I usually just take my Q-tip and dip it in there and take off my, you know, my residual eye makeup after kind of washing my face and everything. But we'll see, we'll see how this goes. For Sailor Neptune, we were supposed to pick something like an emerald green. I went into the Kat Von D Serpentina palette and I am trying to get through like all my Kat Von D stuff just to get it out of my collection. I picked Scarab, which isn't an ideal shade to use basically for anything. I used it in like my outer V today and a little bit up in the crease. It doesn't blend that great and it is a metallic shade. So I guess I can't expect too much from it. Um, but we'll just have to see. I'm really hoping to hit pan on it. All right, and the last product is for Sailor Saturn. Yes, Sailor Saturn. And we had to pick something purple. This doesn't have a line on it because this bad boy is completely full. This is the Nooks. Nooks, Nooks, um, Nooksalence, Nooksalence. I don't know how to pronounce that. Detox. This is a detoxifying and youth revealing anti aging care. Honestly, I don't really know how you're supposed to be using this, but I think I'm just going to apply this to my face like an anti aging moisturizer. I do not know. Okay. So it says at night, you're supposed to apply it at night on its own or under the regular night cream. So it's supposed to put it on at night and just use it as, yeah, like another cream on your face. Good, good, good. I think we're gonna make a lot of progress in most of these products, if not finish a bunch of them up, which is kind of what I was looking for now that I've kind of started so many pan projects, I am looking for things that will be easy to get out of my collection, things just to move on so I can focus on other things. And I don't feel too overwhelmed right now. So I'm definitely not gonna start another pan project until others are ended. But right now I feel okay. This project does end July 5th. So we've got April, May, June, July. We've got four months to make some good progress. And I think we're gonna do great. Thank you so much everybody for stopping by and watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe, hit a like, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.